And that's another festival in the can. After weeks of rumours, speculation and denials, finally, it's official. It is with the greatest pleasure that the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh announced the betrothal of their beloved daughter, the Princess Anne, to Lieutenant Mark Phillips, the Queen's Dragoon Guards, son of Mr and Mrs Peter Phillips. At King's Cross, the Royal Party returns to London from a weekend at Balmoral, where the engaged couple had been to see the Queen Mother and walked and talked about in the Scottish sunshine. The Queen is met by station manager Tom Rowbottom, but without his formal top hat. He's followed by the Duke of Edinburgh and Princess Anne with her fiancé, Lieutenant Mark Phillips. the secret is out, the happy news leaves no room for the usual gloom of wars, inflation and scandals. A common interest in horses first brought the princess and her lieutenant together at the Erridge Horse Trials before the 1968 Mexico Olympics, and they've been seen together at various equestrian events ever since. The lieutenant was a reserve to the British team in 1968 and a member of the British team which won the gold medal at the Munich Olympics last year. When Princess Anne won the individual championship at Burley in the European Championships of 1971, her fiancé was a member of the victorious British team. They have been together and competed against each other at Badminton, Sirencester and elsewhere, and spent many hours together riding in the country. It was after badminton in April this year that they decided they were in love. Just a month after Princess Anne's last emphatic denial that there was any truth in the persistent rumours. Outside Buckingham Palace, an early rising crowd of well-wishers waits to see the royal party arrive. Palace Gardens, Princess Anne and a commendably composed Mark Phillips face the press. The ring says Princess Anne is pretty simple, a sapphire in the middle and a diamond each side. The two families get together and get to know each other like any other two families in a similar situation. It's a time for sharing in the happiness of the engaged couple and looking forward to the future. Princess Anne rather doubts if she'll become exactly like the normal traveling army wife, but she would probably accompany him if he were posted overseas. In the meantime, the princess has a full timetable of royal duties ahead, while Lieutenant Phillips continues his tour of duty in Germany. The whole world wishes them every happiness and many clear runs together in the future.